Afternoon everyone. This is Easter Fontaine camping site on the west coast of South, South Africa. Entrance gate to the front there. Park runs in a circular fashion. As you go down this road, the road goes around in a circle route. Bigger campsites all down this side and then smaller campsites all the way to the seafront. So we'll do a quick walk around, show you around what the site looks like. It is a bit of a windy day. I've chosen to do this video on a windy day because the Ace de Fontaine is renowned for wind. And this way you can actually see what the wind does, where the prevailing wind comes from and plan accordingly. So the prevailing wind starts from the south, which is down there. And as we go down this route, orientate yourself and keep in mind that the wind will come from your back. For orientation purposes, this is site number 100. And in this line down this road, everything to the right is the bigger campsites of the lot. As I mentioned, wind comes from that side, so from the south. If you pitch your, your setup, you will probably want to put your entertainment space towards that end there, so that the back end of your caravan or your tent, tent uh, site takes up the wind and you can entertain to the front. Keep in mind these sites are back to back, as you can see there, so there's briars there, there's two briars right next to each other, so not a great deal of privacy. Uh, you will, you know, be in each other's faces quite a bit. There are taps about every third site and those yellow boxes you see throughout the site is electrical points. Okay, so going for a walk down through the campsite now. As we go along I'll point out various campsite numbers so that when you have a look at the map you can orientate yourself accordingly when choosing your site. Site 101. Ablutions over there, that's block number four. There are four in the campsite in total. Down the middle of the campsite, you have these smaller sites, kiddies playground in the front there. They are quite a bit smaller than the sites to your right. That's number 79. And you can see the difference in size. Zero two. One oh three. One oh four. More sides to the middle here. One oh seven. One oh eight. As we go down this path, we'll go around the corner here and we'll enter the smaller campsites to the other side. Really lovely day in Oesterfontein. This is ablutions number three. Lovely day in Oesterfontein, nice and sunny. This is October 2020. Breeze is actually quite nice to cool it down a bit. Some 
or smaller sites. This is quite a nice site I saw earlier. It's got its own tap, nice private blind in the corner and electrical box over there. You will get a bit of the wind coming through from that side. That's where the prevailing wind comes from. But this trees over here should protect you from the worst and you can pitch your setup to face the other way. I was looking for the site number earlier, but I will find out what the site number is and make a note on the video before posting it. This is site number 30, so if you do look at the map, you can maybe orientate yourself to have a look at that site. Site number 35. Site number 26. Site number 59, next to the ablutions coming around the corner now. This is ablutions number two. Once again, if you want to orientate yourself on the map. And these two sites are particularly interesting. What I like about them is you can clearly hear the ocean from here because this is the side that faces the ocean this street here the ocean is right behind that dune if you are camping in, in couples this is quite a nice site it's number 23 and 24 so what makes them nice is the ideal that the two caravans can be set up here and similar to those other sites you share those bry facilities what i find particularly interesting about them is if you camp anywhere in the middle of the site you will get all the foot traffic coming past your campsite as people head towards the dunes and the ocean uh, these two are effectively on the beach however because they are in the corner of the campsite you don't have foot traffic running through these sites um, so yeah quite interesting Site number 22, 21. So you can clearly see these sites are a lot smaller than the 109s and the 107s, the bigger sites we started out at. Take you for a walk to the beach. So you have direct access to the beach from the campsite. And this is the beautiful Easterfontein beach in town. Lovely town to take a break from. It's only one hour from Cape Town. 
amazing sunsets over this beach sunsets over there which is the west the town is filled with little delis and shops and restaurants everything which your heart can desire so really convenient camping down here one hour from town and you've got everything you might need right outside the campsite as far as shops is concerned Heading back to the towards the main entrance, site number 13, 11 and 12. Fairly small campsites, this. If you've got a big caravan, it definitely won't work. Side. I'll take you in just to have a look at those. And then a little kiddies play area down here. down here also these are the ablutions in the main in the men's well kept well maintained So this is the newer ablution side. It's a brand new building which was set up. You'll see the red tape for social distancing. But also really well kept, well maintained. Once again, just for orientation, these ablutions are located next to campsite 89. And that's the road we came down with. So heading back to the entrance. Thank you for watching. Please like, subscribe, ask any questions, make comments. We'll be happy to assist with any answers you might need. As per usual, there will be a various links in the description showing you the link to the park website, the park map, the park rules, and whatever else you might need.